just getting word that the next match is going to be Shenandoah B versus GMU Team C. All right. I'm looking forward to that. Let me go ahead and look at their records so far. GMU Team C at the moment is one and two out of a total of three games. While G, well, I already said GMC. Well, Shenandoah B, I believe. Oh, is... we already have a goal score from Shenandoah B. I looked Jack, away. <laughs> Thank Jack, goodness Jack, for replays. Jacks are better. Just scored a goal. Oh, okay. Oh, oh no, a goal. No, Vega. <laughs> yeah, That's I'm so looking, sad to see. <laughs> I'm looking at the score. Shenandoah B has actually only played one game in the tournament so far, aside from placements. Which, uh, I guess wait. that's just a, they got a buy last week, most likely. Wait, what team? Shenandoah B. Yeah, they got a buy in week two. I don't know about week... Oh, was week one's like the play-in? Uh, week one was play-ins and placements. Yeah, so then, and then they got a buy week two, so this is actually their first match. Well, actually, you might be right. I'm not glued to the brackets as much to know whether or not the. Um, uh, I, I have I have I'm looking at the bracket right now. So this is so like outside of play this is their first like official match. So yeah, I, I guess that's like cool. like within like the divisions. I mean, well, did Shenandoah B only play one game in placements? I don't think that's the case. Well, if games are like one o two o, and this is week three, so they're winning their third. Winning or losing the third match, you would only have one game. But wasn't placements a round robin tournament? Look, man, I don't know how it works. All <laughs> I know is they, they, this is the third game that counts. Okay? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> We're getting a little bit distracted from the actual game that's going on right now. Um, so let's once again grade the names, see if there's any will accidentally. There's, there's, you know, we, got, we got, we got Romeo here. We got Vega. Jack's better, I think, is one of them. Jack, Jacks are better. I'm just gonna call him Jack. Gingy. Gingy? Yeah, I was about to call him Gingy, and I'm like, that's alright. Well, that, that's what you can do that to Butcher? <laughs> I'm not doing that to Butcher. <laughs> hey! Nice, nice goal from Romeo. Let's see how Jack set this up. Jack just pushed it oh, off the yeah. wall. Oh, yeah, that was a beautiful pass. That was a beautiful pass from Jack. Yeah, rib sticks just not quite able to get it up. Hey, look, there's a the Yo, gamer, gamer. That, gamer that didn't manage to finish English class. Grammar. Kids a gamer? Oh, it's <laughs> it's, a grammar. <laughs> it's spelled a little bit differently. No, you're probably right, yeah. It's just, it's just gamer with an extra R. <laughs> That's all it is. All right, we got Roman coming in. Oh, and uh, Gigi with a uh, beautiful follow-up from uh, Romeo's pass. Look at this aerial. Managed to uh, beat out and put it in the top right corner just to beat out Vega. What a beautiful one-two pass. Shenandoah B, I remember them quite well from last season. In fact, they were the second place team in the final tournament. Only beaten out by Shenandoah A. Oh, okay. And I okay, think we can Jack. see why. <laughs> okay. Look at this. Oh. <laughs> Open goal. Beats out the aerial. Bar down. Beautiful. Ooh. It wasn't clean, but it was beautiful. Well, once again, they're showing me proof that it, the whole game is either goal in 30 seconds or goal in one minute. Yeah. Or no goals. And I, I wanna I wanna see uh I wanna see George Mason uh get, get some more aggression out here. I'm tired of the ball being on orange side. Come on guys, I believe in you. Yeah, orange is a nice color, but I like to see some blue on the field as I, well. I like to see you know, blue is also a nice color. I wanna see more of that. Yeah. I think if I remember correctly, one of the things I loved paying attention to when watching the Shenandoah B team was when they're on offense, how there's never more than one person on the ball, so much as one person on it, and then a person following them, and a third going around to get boost, to then go in after the second person. And it's just a 
a circle of and it should, and it's person, just that. one person, two person, three person, one person, two person, three. Yeah, and then uh, by the time the third person's following up, the boosts typically respawn. So one and two go out and get boost, so then it just leaves GMUC without any boost. Oh, God! Where Jeez. did that even come from? Kill Jinji, chill, chill! Look at this! What looked like just a clear managed to get Jinji's attention, so he just knocks it into that. He loves that corner, man. <laughs> that right corner, man. Okay. Oh, it's on the blue side. Unfortunately, no one really going to follow up because they have no boost. Okay, okay. Too They're awkward. making something happen. Ah, a little bit, a little bit too high. Rib, yeah. rib, rib sticks could not follow up. Yeah, George Mason looking like they're going for a very aggressive strategy where one person stays in middle and the other two are on offense. Very similar to what Shenandoah B does, but they didn't have quite enough time during that offense for me to see if it's exactly the same. Because <laughs> George Mason, while I do like praising their offense, has a pretty dang good defense as well. Yeah. Speaking of offense, here it comes in again. <laughs> okay, Jax. <laughs> Jax are better. How did that even go through? Uh, I don't know. I'm about to find out here. Oh, he just uh -oh, didn't have Oh, we popped it up. That's what happened. It didn't, and... it didn't go through. It just, it just didn't block it correctly. That's sad to see. And Romeo just didn't have enough mass, I guess, to block <laughs> the ball from going any more forward. Yeah, it kind of hit the side of him just popped straight up instead of, like... Yeah. He, he, he was just going too slow, unfortunately. Instead of going any other better direction. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, 15 seconds left on the clock now. I it's looking so. like Shenandoah B is going to take this game one with a powerful grip on the momentum. Yeah, their they're, they're hyper aggression is just... Oh, why? Why did you come this? You have to do him like that, Romeo. Come, come on. Oh, oh, you did him so dirty. That was kind of like, I always love talking about how dirty and clean mean the exact same thing in video games. But like, that was clean. You say it's dirty, it's clean. Nah, nah, it's not, no, no, no. It's same play, but different, like, different, different perspective. Vibes. Yeah, different vibes on it, man. Cause it's just like, oh, like, you just absolutely just like dominated them. But it's just like, it's, it's already 6-0, man. And then you demoed him and then turned around with, like, the slowest goal. That was that was dirty, you know? Yeah, I really wanted to point out here, look at these shots on the side of G on George Mason C. They had one yeah. shot. It they could only six. shoot once. And I don't yeah. know whether to attribute that to Shenandoah B's overpowering aggressive offense or a phenomenal defense. defense? It's definitely the hyper-aggression. I don't... I think the ball was on the side of blue. I'm saying uh, Shenandoah B very often. Like, I, I think, like, 80% of the game it was on orange. Yeah, I don't remember it being over there for more than three times total. <laughs> but, uh, hopefully we see more of this game. Some adaptation. You know, stop stopping their aggression, taking more boost. Come on, guys. I, I believe in you guys. Okay, good. Good block. That was a very good block. I was very I, afraid that was gonna go in. I was so scared. <laughs> Running out of boost grammar, why? You just kind of, you certainly are looking at that ball. Now, I always wonder, when we watch this perspective of the game in spectator mode, obviously we're locked onto the ball. But what perspective do you think these guys oftentimes use the, when playing? That's what I think about all the time when I'm watching this. Because I'm just like, I wish I could see this like the player's perspective on like how they like see the ball. Because when I personally play, I'm constantly switching ball lock on on and off constantly. Because like, if I'm on the opposite side of the goal, I don't need to see where the ball is because like I'm like getting boosted on. So, like I can't even follow up anyway. So like I'm curious how often they lock on and off. Let's like they just play constantly off or constantly off. I'm just curious. I'd assume constant on would be a fine strategy since they probably played enough to know where all the boost is, no matter where the ball is. Yeah. So they just keep track of the ball. That being said, if you have to keep track of the ball, that constantly changes where you have to point the control stick, I guess, if you're on 
controller because that yeah. changes your camera. But 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 then you see the thing is is that sometimes there isn't boost over there and you don't know that because you can't see it. So you would have to like lock on and look over and then lock back on. Uh, unless you can just move your camera. I'm just I'm just curious. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I did this before and I'll do it again. Hey, uh, no, any of you guys, <laughs> yeah, anyone that's in the tournament or even not in the tournament and just plays at high level, we're also, curious. Also, I would like to say, GG in that right corner once again. Yeah, but I'm, I'm being serious here. I'm from in the MAEC Discord channel or anyone that just is in the Game Gym Discord. I'm still from. I'm somewhere near the top of the people on the side. Send me a DM. I want to know what kind of stuff you do. I'm very curious. It could be during the stream. It could be after the stream. If it's during the stream, I might give you a shout out too. True. And George Mason. Oh, the DM you see it scored. I missed Let's it. <laughs> okay, rip six with the one v two. The follow up. Oh, beautiful. It's just, a, it's just a launch. Let's go. Nice. Let's go, Ribstick. Finally, finally, finally score GMPC. And it's an even game now. Even game. Don't Tom regret... Hater's Curse coming up in like 30 seconds. Don't make me regret saying that, please. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's GM, unless it's George Mason scoring the goal, in which case, please, I insist. Uh, game three overtime, come on. <laughs> It'd be cool. Uh, it, it'd be just really awesome. It would make me happy because it would be another chance to have a team that's undefeated not be undefeated anymore. I'm just saying. I hate seeing zeros on what team's record is. I hate seeing zeros on any team. I, yeah. don't care if you're, I don't care if you're undefeated or not. I don't like seeing zeros. I want both teams to score. Just, just score more. Just, just win. <laughs> Win or lose once so that I can stop seeing the zero on the losses. Um, you know, one thing I'm actually really curious about is like, let's say you take a team like Shenandoah B, who's just like hyper aggressive, and you take a team like GMUC, who's a lot less hyper aggressive, more like mid and defensive focused. How do you, like, during your week, how do you practice? I assume you just play online. Like, Oh, what a beautiful goal from Jax. Was there any defense on that side, or was it just everyone chasing for the ball? Uh, yeah, I think it, they were trying to get back into position, and yeah. it was just, he was in the right place, right time. Unfortunate for the side of George Basin. C. Yeah. I have to keep remembering to say C. In fact, oh yeah, George Basin uh, does have three teams in this tournament, doesn't he? But, but like, you know how, like, in, in League, for example, how, like, if you go up against a specific team, like, they play these specific team comps, right? So you know how to counter them. Like, how do you counter... That. That. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> how do you counter that? What's, what's the play? How do, how do you practice against a hyper-aggressive team? Like, do you also try to match their hyper-aggressive? Do you tighten up your defense? Like what's uh, how do you how do you practice against that? How do you get better against these specific types of teams? <laughs> what, what just happened? <laughs> Good job, both teams. Good job, everyone. I'm proud of all of you. That but was in, beautiful to watch. In regards to that question, I can only assume that you just set up a counter strategy, like something along the lines of if they're hyper aggressive, clear the ball to their side of the court get their aggression off and then work your mid game because like i i think i think the way to go is to like be as aggressive as they are and just constantly steal all the boost i mean stealing the boost i definitely agree on that one but being as aggressive i don't think works because they're used to being aggressive if you're used to being a different kind of team that won't quite work out because yeah. you're, you're playing a game you're not used to. Yeah. So it's like, so like, you, should you just practice that that strategy then? Like, what's what? You know, like, what's the plan? Also, I would like to say Jinji with the top right corner for the fourth time. No, no, no. Jacks are better. Did get one of the goals. It was not fourth time. No, no, no. I'm talking about the, over the course of the set. Oh, yeah, probably. <laughs> I've been keeping track. <laughs> 
I don't think he scored a goal on the on the on the left side once. I think it's been right corner every time. Well, maybe he just liked that right corner. You never that know. That right, he likes that right corner. Hey, look, right corner. <laughs> that being said, though, two seconds left. It's over. Shenandoah B is. Can they score to... once? No. Right Shenandoah there. B is going to take this set. Cementing themselves with a 3-0 in bracket so far. Yeah. Um, I would also like to point out in chat, um, OK, SU Gaming says GMU, San, GMU C fan until I die. And I honestly, 100% agree. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm fans of every single team on here. Like, not going to lie. I don't have any affiliations with any of the schools aside from, hey, I really like the way they play. I'm uh, I'm 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 be slightly biased here. I want to I want to see GABC improve. I want to see you guys get better. <laughs> I want to see everyone improve. I want every single game to be one to one in the final minute. 